in this truly exciting geometry problem, we got this rectangle ABCD. And these three lines extend from the rectangle's corners, ending at this point E. And there's this 45 degree angle over here. And this segment AF is 5. And this segment ED is 3. And we are asked to find the area of this green trapezoid formed in here. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let's call this segment FD the distance x, and we'll call this angle down here alpha. We know this other angle is 90 degrees, because it is at the vertex of the rectangle. That means this triangle EFD is a right triangle. And in a right triangle, we can take these two sides and combine them into a fraction like this. And that will give the tangent of the angle alpha. Now we've got another triangle EAD here. And this one's a right triangle too. And this entire angle at its vertex adds up to alpha plus 45 degrees. And we can take these two sides and combine them into this fraction. And that will give us tangent alpha plus 45. Things are getting pretty exciting, huh? Let's tuck away these two equations up here. And now let me show you this super cool trigonometric formula, which allows us to find the tangent of the sum of the two angles. In this formula, we are going to change A to alpha, because that's the angle we are working with. And these two tangent A's are to become tangent alphas, but we already know that tangent alpha is x over 3, so we are going to plug that value into our formula. Next, we change this B to 45 degrees, because we've got an alpha plus 45 degrees in our question. And of course, we also need to change this tangent B to tangent 45, and tangent 45 has a fixed value, which is 1. And finally, we know that tangent alpha plus 45 degrees equals x plus 5 over 3. So we're going to substitute this with that. Now, we've got a super cool equation to work on, and I'm going to do the math for you, and we end up with this quadratic equation, which factorizes into this. And it turns out x is either minus 6 or 1. And of course, we can't have a minus lamp, so we're left with x equals 1. Let's keep this super important finding over here. And let's change this x to 1. We'll also replace this x with 1. It turns out tangent alpha is 1 over 3. We've got this angle alpha down here. And these two line segments are obviously parallel. So this angle must be alpha 2. And we've got this right triangle over here. We can take these two sides and combine them into this fraction. Which equals tangent alpha. And we already know that AF is 5. We know the value of tangent alpha 2. So let's substitute that as well. And we find that AB is 15. So let's put 15 up here. And this shape is a rectangle. Which means this side DC is 15 too. And it is clear that this side AD adds up to 6. So this opposite side BC must also be 6. And now it is time to find the area of this trapezoid. And my son will do it for us. Go ahead son. Hello everyone. This is a formula for the area of a trapezoid. This is the base one. It's six. So let's write six here. And this is the base two. It's one. So let's put one here. This is a right angle trapezoid. So this side is a height. And it's 15. Too short to be. 15. Don't worry about that, son. This diagram is not true to scale. Fine. Let's put 15 here. And we divide it by 2. First, we do what's inside the brackets. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 times 15 is... 105. And 105 divided by 2 is... 52 and a half. I found the answer. Thanks a lot, son. You found the area of the green trapezoid. So there we are. The answer to our geometry problem is... 52.5. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button and don't forget to subscribe because we are going to solve more math problems and you don't want to miss them. Have a good day and see you soon.